Well, all right, the Amari Cruiser, as seen on TNG, 219 and change on the board. I am Soul Keeper on this parser. This ship is full of surprises. It's part of MUDS Market and my MUDS Market series. And stick around at the end, there's a bonus to this. This ship has a lot of secrets. As always, everything is in the description below. Just click show more for the links. We have three Agony Phaser Dual Beam Banks and all three pieces from Lorca's Ambition. Colony Deflector Dish, Prevailing Innovative Engines, Marcelo Harmonic Warp Core, Tilly Shield, Omnidirectional Agony Phaser, and the Trielium Enhanced Phaser. We have the Silitone Wave Impeller for, yep. And there's the third piece, Lorca's Custom Fire Control. Now let's see what these three pieces do together. For two pieces you get Stacking Crit Severity Buff. And for the third piece you get a Mystery Torpedo that shoots out at enemies below 50% health. 360 degrees. Dynamic power redistribution module, all damage resistance rating, and directed energy damage. That's extra damage that goes through the shields. Point defense bombardier, projectile damage, and 1% crit chance, but the two together give us a goodie. Mm. 33% phaser directed energy weapons. In other words, 33% goes through shields. Assimilated module, crit chance, crit severity, damage control and control expertise. The immobilizing phaser lance, not so much for the 15.8 phaser damage, but for that shield penetration. I love my penetration. Mm. So on top of that, it does huge phaser damage and a big debuff to targets around it in a small area. It does have six charges, so it can fire quite quickly and it recharges really fast. Then we got the bioneural infusion circuit, hull capacity, control expertise, and crit severity. Tachyo Kinetic Converter, Control Expertise, Flight Turn Rate, Crit Chance, and Crit Severity. And five, Spire Phaser, Crit Chance. And remember, there's a Klingon character, so there are <laughs> no whole crews of superior Romulan operatives. And here's the skill tree with the funny stuff, hull plating and drain. I am using Constable, as always, and Intelligence Officer. Now for Duty Officers, we have Stacking Crit Chance for Energy Weapons, Stacking Crit Chance for Energy Weapons again, and a chance to have 35% Shield Penetration on beam overload. We have two engineers for aux to bat and my medic for hull regeneration. So I didn't go over this before, sorry guys. Tilly shield provides your weapons with shield penetration. That's what that means in layman's term. And the two piece, I'm just gonna let you guys read a little bit here. Oops, I can't get the slider to go slow. Sorry. 120 hull regeneration. You'll just have to follow the link then. But there is 
normal stuff. Sorry, my mouse wheel is like on crack today. So for personal space traits, we start off with innocuous for its crit severity. Beam barrage. 2% to all beams. Operative for crit chance, crit severity. Adaptive offense, crit chance and crit severity. And it stacks. Mm. All right, we got superior beam training. In the link, it's going to say enhanced. For some reason, they list it under enhanced. Intense focus and oldie but goodie. Shield penetration accuracy. Self modulating fire. Um, I would appreciate it guys that you take a minute to read it yourself follow the link because I'm tired of telling people that it affects projectiles as well as energy damage and it says it like right there on the tooltip so yeah if you have any doubts please hit show more and follow that link and read it for yourself Terran targeting system for crit severity. A good day to die makes my go down fighting a reusable buff. We have strike from the shadows. That's probably like the best trait from the sea store too. The best diplomat for a bonus that fire at will or beam overload or both. 10% bonus damage and 30% bonus damage are the procs when it goes off. Enter, intertwine tactical matrices. I thought I was going to say that wrong. Let's my fire at will set off a torp spread one. The runes of our enemy, 2% bonus, but you have to get the kill shot. Best hope of the empire, 10% bonus damage. 50,000 temporary hit points and weapon emitter overdrive for the critical chance it gives and plus 50 accuracy rating. Then we've got Tyler's duality here. Enhanced armor penetration, enhanced shield penetration, Omega Gravision Amplifier, which, and the Chrono Capacitor. The Gravision Amplifier trait is probably one of the best traits, um, and you get it from rep. So here goes the run, guys. Enjoy the show. It's really fast with the ship. Hey! I love you, science guy that knew what to do. I had a kick tail science guy with me on this run. I mean, I usually complain about the gravity wells being placed wrong or that tornado, tornado or whatever's being used the wrong way. This guy was spot on point. There's best hope of the Empire kicking in. If not, I would have been dust right there.
when Jordy said she had the kick of a galaxy, if not more, he was not wrong. And that's all she wrote. But yo, check out the bridge layout, all right? Few ships in the game have this kind of layout. So you got duty officer missions, you can switch your craft there. Tactical missions. Library and contact duty officers. Account bank. Now, that's normal, right? Go running down the hall. We have a med bay. Contact your science duty officers, doctor duty officers, and counselor duty officers. If I'm correct, there's a counseling mission only available on the ship. They like doing things like that. They did it with the Tuffley and the Sulaban too. So we're gonna start by going this way. And I'm just, uh, just gonna jump down. All right, access bank, more duty officers, quartermaster, access mail, access exchange, access to trader, I wish all ships had lower decks like this. We haven't seen too many ships like this. Every ship was like this at one time and Cryptic stopped doing it for some reason, but they put it on this guy. Engineering duty officers, there's my warp core. Mm. It's hot. Here's my cafeteria with my own bartender and the chef for more duty officer missions. This is the only little glitch with the bridge is the chair. Watch how many tries it takes me to sit down. <laughs> then he works right there all right if you launch the game through the epic game launcher there's my supporter creator code i'd appreciate it if you use it the channel does get a small kickback from it if it's your first time here please subscribe leave a like join me in the comment section and you can follow me over on twitch love y'all